Hey everybody, uh, this lesson is evaluating expressions. Uh, in the last lesson we did um, uh, uh, algebraic expressions, so we're going to use that to evaluate stuff. So uh, here we're going to uh, evaluate expressions at specific values and their variables. And you hear my dog Lucy in the background squeaking her little squeaker. Sorry, and I'm throwing it for her. Uh, including expressions that arise from formulas using real life problems and um, uh, perform arithmetic operations including those involving whole numbers, exponents, uh, without using parentheses. Actually we are going to use parentheses in this and order of operations. Okay, do you remember order of operations? PAMDOS, uh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. So we'll talk more about that in just a little bit. So how can we use the order of operations to evaluate uh, algebraic expressions? Okay, so so let's evaluate. Uh, evaluating expressions is the process of finding a value when we substitute, sorry, that's my little dog Lucy, uh, a number in for each variable. Lucy, I found in front of my classroom door on a cold January morning at, at 6 o'clock in the morning. She was cold, she was scared, she was starving. You can feel her ribs, and she's about a whole nine pounds and anyway so I fell in love with her and brought her home she's been our part of our family for the last year and a half sorry about that uh, so for example evaluate 2m when m equals 5 so what we have to do is substitute in m equals 5 right next to the 2 okay so it's going to be 2 um, uh, 2 times m when there's no mass symbol between 2 and m remember it's understood to be multiply so that's going to mean 2 times m so 2 times 5 is going to be 10 okay another way we can do this is uh, put parentheses around that a parentheses also is another uh, form of, of multiplication so sorry I'm throwing uh, the squeaky so 2 times 5 is the same as 2 times 5 with parentheses so you still get 10 okay so that's another way so here let's evaluate each expression for the given value of the variable. Okay, so let's do the first one. X minus 9 when X equals 15. So what we have to do is just substitute in uh, 15 for X. So 15 minus 9, 15 minus 9, and so uh, we can just uh, use our fingers or whatever, but it's 6, okay? All right, the next one is 16 over N. So 16 over N is going to be 16 over 8, and so we'll plug that in. And that's just a division problem. Remember, when you have fractions, 16 over 8 is the same as 16 divided by 8, and 16 divided by 8 is 2. Okay, whoops, I, I clicked it twice too many. So here we have um, uh, uh, 0.5y, uh, which is 0.5 times y, and so um, y is 1.4. And um, and so let's plug in 1.4. So uh, we're going to multiply those. So because um, now remember, if there's no variable next to it, it's understood. Uh, sorry about that, you guys. So 0.5y is the same as 0.5 times y. So we're going to do 0.5 times 1.4. So I'm going to do that over here. So let's multiply 4 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20. So what we're going to do is um, uh, uh, write the 20 down, but and then 4 times 0. Okay, and then the next thing we're going to do is now we're going to carry a, a 0 to multiply this 4 right here. Okay, so there's a 0 right there. So when we start multiplying by the 10, this is how I was taught. When we multiply this one, we add a 0. And then we go 1 times 5. 1 times 5 is going to be 5. Don't give up on your multiplication skills, you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm really trying hard with my with my high school kids because they want to give up. They just want to pick up a calculator and give up. And you guys know how to do this. I know you guys do. All right, so now what we're going to do is add those numbers together, okay? So uh, we get 70. Now, that's not the answer. What we have to do is count the decimals. So there's one decimal, and then there's one decimal over here. So what we have to do is move this over. The decimal's right here. We've got to move it over two places to the left. Sorry about Lucy. Can't help it. She just enforces you to, to love her and play with her. Anyways, so we get 0 0.7 is the answer on that, okay? All right, let's do the next one. So 6K, let's plug in K for um, uh, equals one-third. So that just means 6K is 6 times one-third. So we'll do parentheses right there. So 6 times a third is the same as one-third of 6. So we get 2. 6 times a third is the same as 6 divided by 3. Um, which is still 2, okay? So 6 times a third is the same as 6 divided by 3, which is 2. All right, let's continue this with this stuff, you guys, okay? 
All right, so the next one uh, is asking us to plug in x equals 7. So what I'm going to do is plug in sorry, x equals 7. You can't help it. It's x equals 7 right here, okay? And over here, same expression, except there's no parentheses. So we're going to do order of operations. So we're going to plug in 7 here uh, next, okay? All right, so here we go. So 7 minus 4. Now, order of operations says we have to do parentheses first, okay? So 7 minus 4 is 3. And now 4 parentheses 3 means 4 times 3, so that we got to multiply and get 12. All right, let's plug in 7 in the next uh, expression, okay? Now, <clears throat> 4x is the same as 4 times x, so now we have to we have to multiply 4 times 7, which is 28, and 28 minus 7 is 21, okay? All right, so this next one, uh, we're going to plug in um, uh, w equals 6, x equals 5, and y equals 3. So 6 minus 5 plus 3. And then we just go from left to right. Order of operations says uh, we do subtraction and addition at the same time, whatever what happens from left to right. So what I'm going to do here, and I'm holding the squeaky so she doesn't bug us. <laughs> Sorry. So we have to do this first. 6 minus 5 is 1, okay, and then 1 plus uh, 3, we're going to do that second. So subtract first, 6 minus 5, and then add. 1 plus 3 is uh, 4. Okay, so here, the next one, we're going to plug in x equals 9. I just threw it. So 9 squared minus 9, and then we have to do the exponents first. So please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, is excuse, the please is parentheses, the excuses exponents. My dear is uh, we do from left to right, whether it's multiplication or division, or division or multiplication. And then uh, um, uh, Aunt Sally is a addition and subtraction, so we add or subtract from left to right. All right, so now uh, we just subtract. Uh, 81 minus 9 gets us 72. Okay, let's do one application problem, okay? So a scientist, sorry, measures uh, the air temperature in Death Valley, uh, California, and records it to be... 50 degrees Celsius. Okay, so the expression, these are, here's our, our conversion formula, is 1.8 plus th uh, 32 gives the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit for a given temperature in degrees Celsius. Okay, C. So find the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit that gives the equivalent of 50 degrees Celsius. So what we're going to do is substitute in C equals 50 into this expression that they gave us right here. Okay, so they give us this expression right here. The C stands for Celsius, so I'm going to plug in 50 right there. <laughs> Sorry, she'll do this all day long. And she does. Okay, anyway, so let's go ahead and we're going to multiply 1.8 times 50. So here we go. So when you're multiplying times 50, all you have to do is uh, carry the 0 and then now multiply times 5. Because when um, a 0 times anything is 0, so uh, when we do that, we're just going to multiply times uh, the tens digit. Okay, so I'm, I'm just going to multiply. Um, well, if it ends in 0, then start it with a 0 and then go ahead and start multiplying times 5. So 5 times 8. 5 times 8 is 40. So I'm going to put a 0 down here and carry a 4. Do you remember doing that? Okay, and then now what I'm going to do is multiply 5 times 1. 5 times 1 is 5, and then we add this carry. 5 plus a 4 is 9. So that's what goes right there. And then what we have to do is move that decimal over. I only see one decimal this time, so we're just going to move it one place. So it starts here and it goes right here, so it becomes 90. Okay, so now uh, we have one point, and then please don't give up on yourself, on your on your skills that I know you guys can do. Okay, your your multiplication skills. Don't give up on that. Okay, I, I try to put that in my uh, my you my high school kids and uh, uh, just put those put those calculators down. As soon as you turn on those calculators, your brain gets turned off and you just start punching numbers. So I know you guys can do this. So any, anyways, anyway, so now we're going to add 90 plus 32 is 122. Okay, and so let's answer the question. So 122 degrees Fahrenheit is the same as uh, 50 degrees Celsius. All right, you guys, I hope that makes sense. And I hope Lucy didn't bother you too much in this lesson. Take care.